hours after the fires were first lit, more than two dozen fuel tankers heading up to NATO forces in Afghanistan were still burning. They'd been torched by suspected militants in southern Pakistan. And in Parliament, Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Ghilani issued a warning over an exchange of fire with NATO helicopters that had left three border soldiers dead. If you attack inside Pakistani territory and cause any collateral damage, it is not acceptable to us. We will never allow you to interfere in Pakistan's sovereignty and security. If you fail to justify the attacks and do not compensate and apologize, then we will consider other alternatives. Pakistan has closed a major border crossing to NATO traffic because of the helicopter incident. A natural response, according to Defense Minister Ahmed Mukhtar. If uh, the NATO forces keep on uh, entering into Pakistan uh, and carrying out attacks, then the only option we have is that uh, we should stop uh, the movement of the containers and they can uh, use some of the areas. Mukhtar said if NATO forces start feeling the pinch of cut supply lines, they might think twice about launching attacks inside Pakistan's borders. But the first people feeling the pinch seem to be the Pakistani truck drivers, stuck whiling away the time off the road while they're prevented from delivering their loads. And they worry their sitting trucks could prove a tempting target for militant attacks in the meantime. Already, police have reported a fresh strike on a fuel tanker in southeastern Baluchistan province. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.